everyone welcome back so guys in our previous session we have discussed about how we can filter our data in excel in our today's session we will be discussing about how we can deal with the null values in excel suppose if you have a data which contains null values how we can deal it with in excel first of all if you see the data that is in front of me it contains full name it contains the age of the person it contains the gender and salary at some places you can see in gender we do not have any data or in salary we also do not have any data okay in that condition what all things we can do first of all we can select the whole table okay you can press function f5 or f5 directly it will give you a pop up which gives you a special and you can give blank values you can select on the blank value if you click on okay it will choose all the blank values for you now suppose if you want to delete the data which contains the null values you can just click on delete here and if you click on delete all the rows which contains the null values it will be deleted but it won't be a good approach because we cannot delete our data just because of one single null value like we have the name we have the age but if we do not have the gender or we do not have the salary in that case we should not be deleting the data we can fill the values even though they won't be accurate even though they won't be precise still we can fill the values okay how we can do that let's understand that i'll just press control z because we should never delete the null values okay how we should do this is suppose now if i talk about gender itself so focus on this part if i click on gender now the shortcut is function f5 or even on the home tab on the right hand side you will find uh, find and select and just click on go to special if you click on go to special it will give you a blanks option click on blanks and click on okay now it will choose the blank rows for you in this particular column if i write female and press control and enter it will fill all the blank values with f so if i only press f and press enter it will take me to the next cell but if i write f and if i press control and enter it will fill all the blank values with f which is not again a correct approach why because then the number of females will be more okay so the correct approach would be going to your uh, nearest cell okay so again if i press control z and instead of writing female over here i'll just write equal to and the value above it equal to and the value above it and press control and enter now it will not only fill uh, females for you it will fill the values for you that is there in the above cell for you okay so this is how you can fill the gender data okay or you can go for a down fill as well so suppose again we have these four uh, blank rows equal to if i write this one and press control and enter again it will fill all the values with the data that is there in our next row this is how we can fill the data now when it comes to salary okay uh, we generally do not fill the data which is above or below us what we do is we use the average method we find the average of our data and we fill it with it how to find the average of our data so for that equal to the average there's a function called as average which will allow you to find the average of your data and press enter that is 1 lakh 7473.3 okay that is that much dollars okay now all you need to do is click on the salary click on function f5 and click on special click on blanks click on okay it will select the blank values for you now instead of giving the reference of this data you cannot give the reference of data otherwise it will consider it as a circular reference suppose we have values like this okay and we also have a value over here 56 and 67 and 44 if you are wondering why it's coming in rupees because previously we have changed the format of this particular column that's why it's coming in this format but never mind now i cannot find the sum of this data in this middle row right in this middle uh, cell if i try to even write sum of all these value it won't allow me to do so because it's giving a circular reference that whatever the sum of this data would be again added to the sum of it would be again added to the sum of it so this is not possible practically similarly if we'll give a reference over here so suppose if i choose salary okay and again function f5 we'll go to special we'll go to blanks and we'll click on okay it will choose the value for us if i write equal to this value and press control and enter again the same thing will happen 
so instead of doing this what we can do is i'll just press control z and i'll just write the value by myself that would be 107473 and press control and enter so wherever there is the value wherever there is a blank it will be filled with 1,7473 and you can see the average of data also doesn't change because we are change, because we are filling the null values with the average itself so if we want to find the sum of data that would definitely change but the average there is no effect on the average of your data so this is how you can deal with the null values when they are in excel we'll be learning about dealing with the null values in power query editor as well where we will be performing analysis right now if you want to do it in excel this is how the method works that you can choose the blank values using find and select and go to special and then you can fill it with any value you desire to fill it with the value which is present in the above or the bottom cell or with the value if it's a number then you can use an average value to fill that data in our next session we will be learning about how we can deal with the duplicate values in our data how we can remove the duplicate values so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session